Good morning, everybody. It's David George Brook, that gratitude guy with the daily gratitude news for Tuesday, July 21st, 2020. And today we're going to talk about gratitude making us happier. Gratitude feels good, and if the benefits on this page are any indication, gratitude will make you stronger, healthier, and more successful. Are you afraid to admit that luck, God, family members, friends, and or strangers have and will continue to strongly influence your life? Gratitude makes our memories happier. Our memories are not set in stone like data stored on a hard drive. There are dozens of ways our memories get changed over time. We remember things as being worse than they actually were, as being longer or shorter, people as being kinder or cooler, as being more or less interesting, and so on. Experiencing gratitude in the present makes us more likely to remember positive memories in a positive light. It can actually transform some of our neutral or even negative memories into positive ones. In one study, putting people into a grateful mood helped them to find closure of upsetting opening of open memories. During these experiences, participants were more likely to recall the positive aspects of the memory than usual, and some of the negative and neutral aspects were transformed into positives. Why does this memory work like this? It's called cognitive bias. According to Wikipedia, cognitive bias is a systematic pattern of deviation from norm, rationality, and judgment. Individuals create their own subjective social reality from their perception of the input. An individual's construction of social reality, not the objective input, may dictate their behavior in the social world. Thus, cognitive biases may sometimes lead to perceptual distortion, inaccurate judgment, illogical interpretation, or what is broadly called irrationality. Gratitude reduces feelings of envy. A small bit of jealousy or envy directed at the right target is motivating. It can encourage us to work harder and try to achieve the things we envy in others. But only a touch of envy and jealousy is good. Too much produces feelings of insecurity, materialism, inferiority, distrust, and unhappiness. How does gratitude reduce feelings of envy? The personality trait of envy has a correlation of minus 39 with the personality trait of gratitude. In addition, on days when people experience more gratitude, they are also more likely, likely to experience less envy. This is likely because an attitude of envy and an attitude of gratitude are largely incompatible. Just like it is impossible to feel op optimistic and pessimistic at the same time, gratitude is the act of perceiving benevolence while envy and jealousy is the act of perceiving inadequacy. Benevolence and inadequacy cannot be completely perceived at the same time. And lastly, gratitude helps us relax. Gratitude and positive emotion in general are among the strongest relaxants known to man. I was having trouble sleeping a few nights ago because I was too stressed and couldn't relax. I'll be honest, for the first few minutes, I was able to hold those feelings of gratitude. I almost fell asleep, but holding feelings of gratitude is hard. Gratitude may be just as or even more effective than relaxation methods such as deep breathing, but because it is more difficult, it's unfeasible as an actual relaxation technique. Think of it, like, think of it as like a tea. One or two cups helps you relax. Three or four cups makes you want to empty your bladder. But it could be just me. Perhaps you'll find practices of gratitude more natural and easy. So just one of the, another group of things that shows you what gratitude can do for you and how much it will help your physical, mental, mental, and psychological being. That's the message for the day. Have a grateful day. And remember, be grateful and never quit.